Hello, Daz Studio Enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to my tutorial series. Now, today I wanted to talk a little bit about how to utilize the HD qualities of your character. Now, a lot of our Genesis 8 and now Genesis 9 characters are going to be high-definition characters, and if we don't have our Daz Studio program set up correctly, we're not going to be able to get the full advantage of HD. Now, I have my Milica character, and she is an HD character. Let me show you. So here she is in Daz Studio, and I have to admit, uh, you know, my signature character, I haven't ever changed. I haven't done really anything to her. Uh, she is right from Daz Studio. It's not a custom character or anything. I just really like her. I think she's extremely beautiful. And so I have just used this character. But you can see that it says that she's a Milica HD for Genesis 8. So she is an HD character. So to take advantage of our HD quality character, we're going to need to select her and then go down to the parameters tab under our Milica character and under general we're gonna go to mesh resolution now I've already talked about this when we talked about decimator a couple tutorials ago I talked about decimator and remember decimator is right here you can purchase it it's an add-on but we can decimate our character to get lower quality images and so I talked a little bit about that so check out that video but I thought I would kind of show you about this high resolution and tell you how to get the most out of your character so we're gonna ignore decimator because decimator is gonna lower our quality we want a high quality so in order to get high quality under mesh resolution we're gonna look under the resolution level and you'll notice that it has two choices you can choose base or high resolution if you want your HD character you really need to make sure it's on high resolution using base will allow you to use less memory but it won't give you the quality render that you may be desiring so make sure you have that selected to high resolution so the subdivision level is going to be defaulted at 2 for high definition characters if you go lower than 2 you're going to have less resolution and if you go higher than 2 you're going to get greater resolution so I'm going to zoom in to Milica's face here and we're just going to run some tests in wire texture. So as you can see at level 2 we have a very detailed polygon configuration in our model. If I drop this down to 0 we're going to have the most basic resolution. Now this is going to be really good for slower computers, less memory, that kind of thing. But if you want high definition skin, this is not going to look all that great. We want it to look beyond a basic computer game character. So if I go from 0 to 1 in my subdivision level, you're going to notice that we're going to increase our polygons by four times. So now we have four times the resolution that we had before. Now if I increase this to two, now we're going to have 16 times the resolution. This is our default. And so our character will be 16 times more detailed, I suppose, than at subdivision level zero. Now I can increase it up to three on the Milica character. This level three gives me 64 times the polygons that I had at level zero. 
for Milica, this is kind of the limit. If we go up to our little gear here under subdivision level, we can increase it even more. So I can just get rid of this use limits and then I can increase it up to four. This is probably the max and it gives us 256 times the polygons for our character. So this can be very detailed, but it also comes with a huge price on memory. Your renders are gonna slow way down. Your GPU might kick off, causing the CPU to run, so it can increase your render times greatly. But if you want that really high detailed look, you can go to subdivision level four, and even, uh, depending on your computer, you could go to subdivision level five. Now normally, I'm gonna keep it down at uh, one or two, but if we want a nice close-up picture, we may want to increase that subdivision level. I gotta tell you, if I am rendering a picture like this with Milica framed in the picture with her entire body, I am not gonna use that high resolution. But if I am going to go into a close-up of my character, I may want to do that. So I thought what would be fun, because there's been some other tutorials that have kind of gone this far, I thought what would be really cool is let's look at the differences. For me, what really is interesting is does this high resolution really make any difference? So what I wanna do is I wanna run a few tests. I'm gonna render the same picture with Milica at subdivision level zero, one, two, three, and four. And let's see what the render times are. And let's also compare the pictures to see if we really have a resolution difference. Okay, so we're gonna just get this picture. I'm gonna render the same picture. Let's just kind of get her in a spot here that we like. And we're gonna render up a picture at each of these sub-levels and then compare them. So let's render up at sub-level zero first. See what we get. Okay, so at sub-level zero, it's a pretty good render. I mean, Milica is cute no matter what resolution we have her. But um, let's see if we can get some more detail in this render. So we're gonna take and we're gonna increase this subdivision level to one. Let's see if she is a little more detailed. All right, so that was subdivision level one. Uh, I'm gonna bump it up to level two. Interestingly, um, it took exactly the same amount of time for sub-level zero and sub-level one. So let's see if this takes a little bit longer to um, do the default at subdivision level two. Okay, so that was at sub-level two and uh, didn't take any more time than the subdivision level zero or one. Now we're gonna up it up to three, so we're gonna go more HD here with three. So I'm gonna click, get to three. Now remember, three is gonna be 64 times the amount of resolution that um, zero has. So this should start to put some strain on my system a little bit. Let's see what happens at this subdivision level three. All right, let's bump it up to sub-level four. See what happens. All 
All right, so let's look at the data now after running renders at different subdivision levels. So this is kind of interesting. Um, the difference in render times from sub-level 0 to 1, 2, and 3 are very small. I mean, you can see 2 minutes and 20 seconds to render at subdivision 0 and 1, just a couple seconds more for 2, and just a couple seconds more for 3. Now, at subdivision level 4, things got crazy. It took my computer 31 minutes to uh, render this picture. So, what's more important, perhaps, is looking at the quality of pictures. So, let's take a second, and we're gonna look between quality zero and quality four. All right, so on your left is quality zero, on your right is quality four. Now, there may be some differences, but I really just, I mean, can't see much of a change. Um, it seems like these resolution levels, as long as you have your DAS set to high resolution. I'm not seeing much of a difference. Maybe this is Milica. She is a HD character, but I am just not seeing the difference that uh, was expected. Now the render times are huge. Very different render times between zero level four. But as far as quality goes, I am just not seeing it. I will admit on the subdivision level 4, we might have a little more detail. Now, another thing that you have to remember is the quality of texture that your character has. And this is supposedly what uh, separates Genesis 8 from Genesis 9. So maybe I should run this experiment using a Genesis 8 and compare it to a Genesis 9 or just run these subdivision level tests with a Genesis 9 character because the Genesis 9 character is supposed to have better textures. But with our Milica character, Genesis 8, I am just not seeing a huge difference. I'm interested to see how you like to set things up. I am not seeing a big difference between these resolution levels. So I usually render at the default of subdivision level two, and I just keep it at that. Do you think that there is a difference? According to my data, I'm just really not seeing much. All right, well, let's um, get out of here. I think I'm going to go back to my camera with her whole body. Let's run a render at subdivision level two and we'll see if we can get a nice thumbnail picture. All right, well, let me know what you think about these resolution levels. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give me a comment or two. I'd really like to know what you think about all of this. All right, until next time, take care and happy rendering.